W H W K Y. in there, Ed. Heard you just fine. Katie and SLG. Hey there, Ed. Want to wave a hand at you. Hadn't talked to you in a long time. KC5 RBG. Good to hear you on. Nick, go ahead and throw me on there, too, I guess. But, uh, yeah, it's good to hear you on there, Ed. KC5 RBG. RBG, Katie and SLG, I got you on there, Shannon. Thank you very much. What's going on in Tulsa there, buddy? Well, boy, it rained most almost all day. Uh, I came home from the doctor's appointment, and I just laid down for a minute, and I just woke up. <laughs> I thought I was going to not be too tired today after sleeping all day yesterday. Boy, was I wrong. It happens, man. It happens. You know, eat when you're hungry, drink when you're thirsty, sleep when you're tired. So 
All right there, ma'am. Well, I've got you on the list. I got you in there. Good talking to you. We'll get back with you in a few minutes. I'm going to walk away from here, grab my soda for the evening, and make room for more. I'll be back. You guys have at it. Katie, this LG.
W H W K Y. There's a word from okay. I got that W H W K Y guy on the list. W B H C X O, K D eight S L G. Uh, Mike, I care about what's happening. I just don't want to talk about it on the radio. You know? What do you think, Mike? Uh, no comment. W B H C X O. Truly a wise man. Truly a wise man. Mike, thanks for streaming us there. I'm just going to mark you in and out since you got nothing to say tonight. How's that sound? That is wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, we rag about that stuff on 220. Uh, nobody, you know, nobody's there, so it's uh, fun for us. Sometimes you got someone listening in, but uh, he can't transmit up there from here on a 500. So uh, just to let you know. <laughs> well, you know, 220 has always been sort of a private uh, band. Uh, I've been on it since uh, the middle 70s and have enjoyed it uh, most every minute. I know you guys do. I know you guys do. So uh, every once in a while, I, I got uh, I've got that repeater uh, dialed into the 500, and I'll slide over there and see who's chatting. So, uh, Mike, once again, thanks for streaming us on YouTube, and you have a great night. And uh, don't let it get your craw in too much of a bunch there. WB8 CXO KD8 SLG. Okay, Nick, you're very welcome, and thanks for rousting me out of my nest. WB at CXO. KEAQKO, KD at SLG. Dude, how did you get to be first today on the Boredom Breaker Net, man? You, you even stepped over KD5 ENU. Good show. Well, I'll tell you, Nick, what I did was the last uh, half a word you were speaking, I keyed up right then and let it hang for a couple of seconds because you always let it hang when you're going on those repeaters and then start talking. So that's how I was able to pull it off. And I was I thought about waiting, but I was like, you know, Walmart's not that far away, and I know some of those check-ins can be long. And so if I wait to get to Walmart and I don't check in and I go in the store then I come back out and I have to wait to check in, and I come back to the come back to work in the office, and I'm probably not going to check in when I when I get back to work. So I figured I either get in right away or I don't make it in at all. That was my my thought. But uh, yeah, that's it. With that, I'll pass it back to you, sir. K E K K O. You uh, you know my opening cadence there for the preamble, so you had a little bit of an edge there. I can often hear um, Gil keying up before uh, before the NCOs are done talking, and it'll start uh, giving you that repeater squirrel, and uh, he'll come in with uh, nothing but the NU at the end. And <laughs> oh man, Gil's a good guy. Uh, that's Katie Five the NU. All right, there, Nick. Well, fine business. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, take the next 45 seconds and try to clear my throat before the girl makes the announcement. And uh, then I'll be back in here, everybody. This is KD8SLG. Standing by. The Beacon Net, a gathering of hams from around the world, will start on the system in 30 minutes. Come join us. There's my girl. QST, 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 calling all amateurs to the Beacon Net.
sponsored by the Silver Creek Amateur Radio Association on the WWKY repeater in Doylestown, 147 Mark 390, positive offset in PL tone of 114.8. We meet here every Wednesday and Sunday night. We play trivia. We have a good time. This is the pre-show. I'll be taking early check-ins and in and outs for the beacon net that starts at the top of the hour. This is a controlled net. We ask that all traffic pass your net control. Your net control operator this evening is Kilo Delta 8, Sierra Lima Golf, KD8SLG. My personal is Nick, November India Charlie Kilo, just Nick. When you're checking in, please give your call sign twice, once phonetically, once alphabetically, your name and location. That will help me get you in the computer in a timely fashion and increase the odds of me hearing you properly. Before I start taking some check-ins, let's check in with the net control team tonight, what I like to call the Mickey Mouse roll call. Make sure everybody's radios are working and ready to go. KD8 EPC, this is KD8 SLG. How you doing, Dustin? KD8 SLG and the Beacon Net, this is KD8 EPC. Good evening, Nick. We're here. I think we're ready to go. Hopefully everything's working. Uh, People say I'm out there, so uh, here we are. With that, this is KDEDPC. Back to uh, pre-net control. All right, Dustin, you had to blow a little dust off that radio since you didn't use it this morning, this afternoon, huh? Hope everything went all right for you there, buddy. Going to clear with KDEDPC. Let's talk to uh, our trivia guy tonight, KEQKO. Nick, you sounded great, but uh, you got a good trivia question for us tonight. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. No, Nick, I don't. It's under garbage. Sorry. But uh, it's trivia, so we'll, we'll leave it at that. Anyway, but that'll pass it back to you, sir. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. You guys' questions are always better than mine, so uh, there you go. Got you on board, Nick. You sound great. Thanks. Going to clear with KEQKO. Let's talk to Mike. KEQWE. The season's coming to an end, Mike. Do you have time for us tonight? Kilo Echo Lake, Quebec Whiskey Echo. Well, hello there, Nick. No, I've had a day. It was a long, grueling day. I'm going to bet. But it will be done probably on Saturday. We should have everything done except for mine, and that will get done on Sunday. And then this madness is going to end. I have already been... Letting folks know I'm not taking on any anyone new, and I'm going to be cutting some folks next next year because this is like anything else. Twenty twenty percent of the people cause you eighty percent of the grief, and they're not coming back. So, with that being said, everybody have a great night. Ski the echo away, go back whiskey echo back to KD8 SLG. See you next. KEQWE, KDSLG. Thanks for stopping by, Mike. And uh, yeah, and, and you know what? You end up spending eighty percent of your time on those twenty percent. So uh, save yourself on both sides there. Thanks for stopping by to say hi. Have a great night and uh, get her done. Gonna clear with KEQWE. We got our alt trivia guy up next. W8HRF. Josh, how you doing tonight? KD8SLG, W8HRF, good evening, Nick. Good evening to everybody on the pre-show for the Beacon Net. We are ready. All trivia is ready. Um, it might be the shortest time I've ever, shortest amount of time I've ever put into all trivia, like coming up with a question. Uh, you all have to indulge me. I got one more solar eclipse trivia, and then I am done. I think my last one was trivia, was uh, solar eclipse oriented. But... Hopefully it's not a repeat from some other net somewhere. Anyways, that's all I got. Looking forward to the net. W8HRF, back to net control. Yeah, Josh, I think uh, I think Eclipse is still pretty topical, man. Everybody's still talking about on the other nets I've been on tonight. And uh, no worries there, man. Sounds good to me. Getting clear with W8HRF for now. And let's punch in with Eric. He's got no responsibilities whatsoever tonight. K8 VZA, K8 SLG. How you doing, Eric? W8 W K Y. And 
the word from our sponsor, KDASLG. This is KE8VZA. Doing well, Nick. Hope you are too. The rest of the team sounding good on this end. Um, I am going to just get my ticket punched tonight. Um, work has been extremely exhausting. It's all good. It's just it's been a lot. It's been a lot, a lot. So um, I'm going to take advantage of my no responsibilities tonight and take that out to the max. So everybody have a gr- have a great net and uh, 73. This is KE8 VZA. Back to you, Nick. All right, buddy. Yeah, I kind of figured as much when you uh, checked in and out of the food net tonight real quick. So good to hear you. You have a good night. Get caught up on some sleep and uh, consider that job security. We're going to clear with KE8VZA. That's it for the Mickey Mouse roll call. Let me tell you who I've harvested so far on the list. Then we'll take some check-ins, and uh, then we'll see who's sticking around tonight. I got K0KDW. Brad in Missouri was in and out, but Missouri's still linked up, so you guys can still get in and out of here. Got KE8YUG, KF8ANS, Josh and Marie up in Avon Lake. K5CFY, Ray's on the list. KC0LRM, a second contingent from Tulsa there. W3ETV, Eddie. WB8CXO, he's streaming us on YouTube tonight, but he doesn't want to talk, so he's in and out as well. KA8MNT, you're on the list. WB8GKB, I heard you and got you in there. Shh, Edwin. Edwin, just Ed. KC5RBG, Shannon's on the list. KG4SCK texted me. He's going to bed but wanted to get on the list and wanted me to convey to everybody he misses us. And I got Lucy right down there in the middle, KE8YUK. KD2HCE, Chris is in and out, AB8MO, Andy, you're on the list, and WB4AIZ. I saw you show up on Echo Link. Real quick there, uh, Chuck, are you going to stick around tonight or uh, are you just in and out as usual there, buddy? As usual, I'm going to be in a party pooper and in and out, and uh, I watch the clips on the Facebook, I mean on YouTube, so that was cool. Uh, WB4AIZ, everybody take care. Chuck, it was way cool. I saw it in real time up here, and uh, it was spectacular. So, Chuck, thanks for stopping by. Good to have you on board, WB4AIZ, KDSLG. All right, I'm ready to take a couple rounds of check-ins, and then we'll see who's sticking around tonight. This is KD8SLG. I'm listening. KD8SLG, WA8KOC. Kilo 8, Papa Julie Whiskey, K8, PJW. This is Kilo Delta 8, Bravo Oscar Quebec. Kilo Delta 8, Bravo Oscar Quebec, Corey from Michigan. Kilo Foxtrot 8, Alpha November Tango, KF8, AN. All right, nice orderly round of check-ins there. W-A-K-O-C, Fred, I got you in there. K-A-P-J-W, Phil, K-D-8-B-O-Q, Corey, and K-F-8-A-N-T, Steve. Just Steve. All right, one more round, and then we'll see who's sticking around. This is KD8SLG. I'm listening. KB8SLG, Kilo Delta 8, Bravo KO4DK and David, Boynton Beach, Florida. Good evening, Joe. Kilo Echo 8, Victor Oscar X-Ray, that's KE8, VOX, got up here in Vermillion. Victor, 
Kilo Kilo Four Bravo right, Fox guys. Trot Mike. Kilo Kilo Four Bravo Fox Trot Mike. Captain Bob, Florida. Guys, let me pick it up, please. Let me tell you who I added that time. Uh, da, 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 da. We got KB8PXM. Charlie, good to hear you, man. I got you on the list. Then I had someone named David from uh, David. I'll get back to you because I got none of that. Charlie just wiped you out there. K8VOX, Scott, you're on the list. WV3K, Phil, you're in there. I got KK4BFM, Captain Bob. And uh, there was a KQ4 in there. First, let me get David. I missed your call sign completely. Can you come back, please? Hey, Nick, Dustin, and those on the on the uh, beacon net, it's Kilo Oscar 4, Delta Kilo November, also known as KO4, DKN, David, Boynton Beach, Florida. All right, David. I recognize Boynton Beach there, but um, I, uh, I I didn't make the association. All right, I got you in there. And then KQ4 was IZV, right? I saw you in there a little earlier, but I didn't know if you wanted me to just throw you on a list. KQ4, IZV. Is that right, James? Yeah, you got me, Nick. All right, good deal. Thanks for the assist there, Casey Zero LRM. Got you, Kelly. All right, let's go up to the top of the list, see who's sticking around to play trivia tonight, and just see who's here to uh, get their parking ticket validated. Uh, K0KDW, Brad was in and out. Thanks, Brad. Let's go to uh, Josh up in Avon Lake. K8YUG, Josh, how you doing? You sticking around tonight? Thank you, Josh. I'm going to assume that Marie is sticking around, too, but I know better than to assume. KF8 ANS. Marie, you're getting pretty comfortable on the radio. Someone texted me today. How you doing? You going to stay up with us tonight? check you broke in right over top of somebody talking i can hear you but we're not taking check-ins right now gonna clear with kf8 ans glad to have you on board marie let's check in with tulsa with ray k5 cfy fine business this afternoon ray how you doing do you have enough fuel to uh stay up and play trivia with us tonight This is K5CFY. I think so, uh, Nick. But uh, anyway, thanks for doing the pre net here on the uh, uh, beacon net, uh, lighting up the airways. We definitely appreciate you. Uh, uh, we miss Mr. Dustin, but you did an awesome job on the Warden Breaker net, and uh, I'll definitely be hanging around. I'll give it back to you there, K5CFY. K5CFY, KDSLG. We love Wednesdays down there in Oklahoma, Ray. And whatever you do, don't tell Dustin I did 55 today. You're going to clear with K5CFY. <laughs> Let's talk to Kelly out in Tulsa as well. KC0LRM, thanks for the assist there, Kelly. You sticking around tonight? W8WKY. Hey, just Nick. Uh, yep, I will be sticking around, and I wouldn't miss it. Uh, have a good net and get some more check-ins there. All right, back to you.
Stacy Zero LRM, KDSLG. I got you. Stick it around, Kelly. Thank you very much. Let's go out to Maryland, Annapolis, Maryland. Talk to Eddie. W3 ETB. Stick around for trivia tonight, Eddie. Yeah, hi, Nick. Uh, of course. Yeah, I'll be here for a little bit after uh, 10 o'clock. My eyelids start getting rather heavy, so uh, maybe at least I can turn in my answers the questions before I fall asleep. So <laughs> I'll be here for a while. W three E T V back to now. All right, buddy, you're pretty close to the top of the list. It should go fairly quickly tonight. Going to clear with W3ETB. Let's talk to Tom and Canton, K-A-8-M-N-T. This is Katie at SLG. Tom, you sticking around tonight? you just uh, here to get your ticket punched. KD8SLG, K-A-8-M-N-T. Well, I don't want to get punched, so, yeah, I think I'll stick around a little bit tonight. So I'll let you get back to it. K-A-8-M-N-T, clear. All right there, Tom. I'm feeling a bit punchy tonight, so uh, just, you know, stay out of my reach. Going to clear with K-A-8-M-N-T. Let's talk to Ed in Wadsworth real quick. W-B-H-E-K-V. He's sticking around tonight, Ed. You are somewhere in the Wadsworth area. Get a clear with WBHCKV. Uh, let's go out to Shannon real quick, see if he's still awake. Casey 5 rbg Shannon, you sticking around tonight? Boy, you just shook me back up. Yeah, I'll be around. Casey 5 rbg All right, Shannon, I've already got your trivia answer of the great state of Oklahoma. So uh, even if you sleep through it, you always have the right answer. Going to clear with KC5RBG, KG4SCK, SCK, Texan said, sent his love to us. So, Mark, if you're listening, have a great night. Let's check in with Miss Lucy, KE8YUK. This is KD8SLG. How are you tonight, Lucy? Are you sticking around? KD8SLG, this is KD8YUK. I'll be sticking around, and uh, I actually don't know the answer to the trivia. I've just got a guess, so uh, it'll be exciting for the alt trivia, and uh, I don't know what regular trivia is, so I should be here. Back to you, KD8YUK. KD8YUK, KD8SLG. All right, we got you sticking around there, Lucy. This is the WWKY repeater. You're listening to the Beacon Net. I'm KD8SLG, and next up we're going to find out if Andy's sticking around tonight. AB8MO, KD8SLG. Andy, are you uh, in for the count tonight, or are you just uh, in and out? Well, like Tom, I don't want to get punched, so I guess I'll stick around, AB8MO. I won't punch Andy, I promise. Get it clear with AB8MO. Chuck was in and out. Chris was in and out. HCE and AIZ. Let's go to Fred. WA8KOC. Barometer net net control operator from this morning. Good evening, Fred. You just here for me to punch your ticket. Yeah, Nick. Just don't uh, don't put a lot of power behind the punch, will you? <laughs> Gosh. A lot of uh, great, friendly voices, knowing who they are, and man, you reel them in. A ton of other people. Uh, the the beacon that really reaches out. I gotta say that. Uh, thanks for taking my check in. Appreciate it. You take care of yourself. Give my very best to Dustin. Missed hearing him this afternoon, but I will tell you, you did one heck of a job. All by your lonesome there. I wouldn't uh, wouldn't expect anything else, but yeah. Great job on the board and breaker net this afternoon. I think Ray would agree with me. Uh, yeah, take good care of yourselves. Uh, be safe. 
Best to Dustin, 7-3 to everyone else. Have a great net. KD8SLG in the net, WA8KOC. All right, Fred, thanks for the flowers. And um, you have a great night. And uh, we'll see you next week on the Barometer Net if we don't talk to you before that. You have a great night there, Fred. Thank you very much. Going to clear with W-A-K-O-C. Next up, we got Phil up in Twinsburg. K-H-P-J-W. Phil, are you sticking around tonight? K-D-A-S-L-G, K-A-P-J-W. Good evening, Nick, and good evening, uh, uh, everyone on the beacon net. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to uh, save your hand a little bit and uh, so you don't have to punch my ticket quite yet. I'll be sticking around. K-A-P-J-W. Cool, Phil. Good to have you on board. Next up, we're going to go to Michigan. KD8BOQ. Corey, I kind of recognized your call sign, but I didn't know if you wanted me to automatically put you on the list or not. So uh, until I get used to you, just let me know. KD8BOQ. This is KD8SLG. Corey, are you sticking around tonight? This is KD8BOQ. Corey, yep. Uh, I am going to stick around tonight. I am... Uh, first time, uh, first time check-in for the net here, uh, but excited for the trivia. And uh, you know, I'm just going to throw it out there from the beginning. I, I may be at the bottom of the list as far as uh, winners and losers in the end. Trivia is not my thing, but I'm here to check in and, and be a part of it and listen in. So, um, pleasure to pleasure to join with you guys. And um, you know, I know you guys down in Ohio always need somebody from Michigan to come here and help you screw in a light bulb here and there or something like that. So. Anyway, all met in good fun, of course, um, and appreciate being here. You guys are great, and uh, thanks for letting me join in on the Beacon Net. Back to you. This is KD8BOQ. <laughs> all right, Corey, glad to have you on board. Next time I need an eye bulb screwed in and I need some help from Michigan, um, I'll place an order with you before you drive down here. How's that sound? <laughs> Get a clear with KD8BOQ. Let's talk to Steve up in Elyria. KF8ANT. How you doing? How are you doing tonight, Steve? Are you gonna stick around? KD8SLG. KF8ANT. Good evening, Nick. Uh, yeah, I'll stick around for a little trivia this evening. Uh, let's get on with it. Back in that control. KF8ANT. Cool, cool, Steve. You become quite a regular as well. Good to have you on board. Going to clear with KF8 ANT. Let's talk to Charlie down there by Millersburg KB8 PXM. Charlie, thanks for stopping by to say hi, man. Good to hear you. Are you going to stay up and play trivia with us tonight, or are you going to shuffle off and watch Star Trek? Uh, it's good to be here and hear everybody, but uh, no, I'm going to shuffle off. I'm, I'm afraid the Cleons are going to attack me, so. Uh... You know, I, I got to go hide, and uh, maybe I'll go to Riza and ha have some fun. So uh, uh, it's good hearing everybody. It uh, looks like it's going to be a wet night, a couple wet days coming up. So uh, with that, back to you, Nick. Thank you everyone for checking me in. April showers bring May flowers. <laughs> right, Charlie? And I got to tell you, man, you, you hit the W8WKY strong. Really strong. You sound great, my man. You have a great night there, Charlie. Great talking to you somewhere other than the watch net. Charlie does the watch net on Tuesday nights right after the Sarah Club net. It's a good time. And down on the uh, WB8 uh, Q, uh, what is it, QGQ? Yeah, QGQ. They look alike. It's a good time. Charlie, thanks for stopping by. Going to clear with KB8PXM. Let's go to David in Boynton Beach. K O four D K N K D S L G. Davey sticking around tonight. W H W K Y. Nick, I wouldn't miss it. I wouldn't miss it. I've been away for a while, but I'm back, so I'm looking forward to trivia. Based on the enthusiasm of the person with the trivia question tonight, I'm a little perplexed, but I'm looking forward to it. It sounds like it might be something I might be able to answer tonight. <laughs> 
So, yes, I'm sticking around. All right, Dave, it's good to have you back. And I got you sticking around. KO4, DKN, KDSLG, let's go up to Vermilion. K8VOX, Scott, how you doing tonight? You sticking around? All right, that was not Scott. That was someone on the do drop in. K E V O X K D S L G. Out there, Scott. Yeah, go ahead and uh, punch my ticket there, Nick. Uh, I'm going horizontal, so uh, K E eight V O X uh, seventy three. K E eight V O X K D S L G. Scott, your ticket is punched. Your parking is validated. Enjoy your horizontal position there. Sounds great, man. Going to clear with K8VOX. Let's check in with Phil and Canal Fulton, WV3K, KDSLG. Phil, are you sticking around tonight? Or are you just here to say hi? LG, Whiskey Victor, three kilo. I had to wait for somebody else to quit playing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be sticking around uh, with you. So uh, looking forward to it, Nick. WV3K on the side. WV3K, KDSLG. All right, Phil. Uh, yeah, I got, a, uh, I got a lead on that one. And it was problematic earlier today, so we'll see what happens. Thanks for sticking around, Phil. Good to hear you. You're going to clear with WV3K. Let's go to North Carolina. KQ4, IZV. James, do you go by Jam or James? Or, no, or are you sticking around tonight? It's KQ4, IZV. Um, it doesn't really matter, Jim or James. I guess Jim's okay. Uh, I'm definitely going to hang around tonight because I kind of halfway fell asleep the other night and almost missed out. So I'm going to have some fun tonight and hang around. KQ4 IZV back to net. All right, James, good to have you on board representing North Carolina tonight. I think you're the only North Carolina so far. Uh, good to have you on board. I got you sticking around. Going to clear with KQ4IZV. Let's go talk to Captain Bob. KK4BFM. This is Katie at SLG. How are you tonight? What's going on? And are you going to stick around for trivia? Hello, Nick. Uh, Nick Control, Captain Bob, KK4BFM. First time uh, listener to this particular channel. I thought it was the uh, boiler breaker net, but it looks like it's a beacon net. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to stick around, and, uh, but I'm going to... I'm on a, um, a sailboat uh, at the dock, and the winds are 28 knots out of the southeast. So I, I might drop out every now and then, but so far it's pretty good. Pat Mob, back to that. <clears throat> All right there, Captain Bob. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, we link up with the Boredom Breaker Hub for this net, and uh, so uh, there's no confusion there. We just kind of link up for some of our nets, and uh, we get a lot more traffic that way, and it's really cozy and friendly. And it uh, sounds like you got a strong wind there, buddy, so uh, we'll keep you on the list and be sticking around. Good to have you on board, Captain Bob. Going to clear with KK4BFM. Let's talk to Mark, KC8FQV. It's a net. Mark's here. Mark, are you sticking around for trivia? I didn't get wore out from today and all the things I did. But yeah, I did everything, the food and that. I did my Molly B. I even picked up another show tonight. They were talking about the Twin Towers when they built them in New York. They had a access channel where I worked. So they were talking about how they built them and all the different things. Hey, I went to the Paul's meeting on Zoom. I 
stopped at Wooster, I stopped at Cars, and now we're here. And I got a Zoom meeting with them out in Washington State. So, yeah, we'll stay around, Nick. I'll wear myself out like you worked your fingers today. You did a good job, and of course, condolences to Dustin and his family and that. Okay, so give me. KTFQV, KDSLG. All right there, Mark. I know you're sticking around. Save your best material for the net. And, dude, if you could please turn down the other audio sources when you're, when you're talking because whatever was going on in the background was just as loud as you. We're going to clear with KC8FQV for now. And we got one more on the list here, our Arkansas contingency. Mac, KI5RFI, KD.SLG. You sticking around in eight, Mac? Good evening, Nick, KD, ooh, KD8, SLG, this is from KI5RFI. Somebody has to represent the land of opportunity, so I guess it might as well be me. For years and years, that was on our license plate until some illustrious soul decided to change it to the Wonder State. But anyhow, yeah, I will be sticking around for the trivia question. I wouldn't miss that for the world. Back to you, Nick, KI5RFI. I wonder, Mac. I wonder. <laughs> the wonder state. I don't know. Land opportunity sounds better. All right, Mac, I got you sticking around. We're going to clear with KI5RFI. I'm a couple minutes over. I can tell Dustin's anxious to light up the nighttime airwaves. Thanks, everybody, who checked in here on the pre-show. It's time for Dustin to light him up. KD8EPC, KD-SLG. Take it away, Dustin. Now that that unpleasantness is out of the way, good evening and welcome to the Beacon Net. My name is Dustin. My call sign is KD8EPC, and I'll be net control for the evening. The Beacon Net meets every Sunday and Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time here on the WAWKY Repeater 147.390 with a positive offset and a PL tone of 114.8, all star node 48496, and echolink WAWKY-R. This is a direct net. All traffic must pass through net control, and all stations are welcome to check in. We'll take multiple rounds of check-ins, so if you don't get in the first time, just stand by and we'll get to you as soon as we can. We're linked in with our friends in Oklahoma that do drop in and various other repeaters. So we ask that you keep for a couple of seconds before and transmit and let everything drop so we can hear everything you have to say. Uh, before we start taking check-ins, is there any emergency or priority traffic? Please call now. All right, nothing heard. Stations that would like to check into the beacon net that haven't already checked into the pre-show, please say your call phonetically, followed by alphabetically, along with your name and location. Hello, Echo 8, Bravo Hotel, KEA, BHQ, Benjamin, Mobile. A couple there. I have AI five Q Jerris, and then I got a K E eight B H Q. Ben there in the mobile. Uh, do we have any other check ins? Uh, please call now. Whiskey two Juliet Lima Sierra John W two J L S in Farallon. Evening Dustin. W H W K Y. All right, we picked up W2JLS. Uh, John, so great to hear you this evening, my friend. Uh, all right, uh, we'll make one more call here. Any other check-ins before we go up and get our uh, trivia questions read? Please call now. Kilo Echo 8, Zulu, India, November. Joe with Willowitz. Uh, your audio was way too low. I couldn't hear anything you had to say, so uh, 
We'll try some more here in a minute. We've got 37 on the list right now, so uh, let's go up and get our uh, trivia questions read. And let's start with our trivia master for the evening, KQKO, Nick at Night. How are you, my friend, and what do you have for us? KDDPC, KAQKO. Hey, Dustin, you know, there was somebody doubling with you there before you called out for me, and I didn't catch their call. So I'm not sure if uh, Nick got him or not, but maybe you want to check and see if they're in or not before I read the trivia. All right, sure thing there, Nick. Yeah, I didn't even notice, but uh, we got K4LOM. Uh, looks like Les there, uh, he doubled with me, but we got him on the list. So uh, thanks for that, Nick, and uh, both Nicks, actually. So uh, uh, K4LOM, Les, we got you on the list. We'll get back to you here as soon as we can. All right there, Nick, uh, take it away. KQKO from KD80PC. KQKO. All right, good evening, Dustin, and good evening, everyone on the net. The trivia question tonight is as follows. His call sign was K2ORS, Kilo 2, Oscar Romeo Sierra, and he wrote and narrated a classic film that everyone saying you'll shoot your eye out. Who is he? Your options are Alpha, Peter Billingsley, Bravo, Gene Shepard, Charlie, Chevy Chase, or Delta, Darren McGavin. I'll read that again. His call sign was K2ORS, Kilo 2, Oscar Romeo Sierra, and he wrote and narrated a classic film that ever had everyone saying, you'll shoot your eye out. Who is he? The options are Alpha, Peter Billingsley, Bravo, Gene Shepard. Charlie, Chevy Chase, or Delta, Darren McGavin. And with that, I'll pass it back to you, Dustin, K-E-Q-K-O. All right there, Nick. Well, I'm going to take a minute to think about it. And in the meantime, we're going to go talk to Josh, W-A-H-R-F, for our alternate trivia. What do you got for us, Josh? KD8EPC, W8HRF. All right, tonight's alternate trivia question is, in 1973, the world's fastest supersonic commercial jet Concorde raced over Africa to keep up with the shadow of the moon during a total solar eclipse. How long was Concorde able to extend the totality which it experienced by chasing the moon's shadow? Your options are Alpha, 7 minutes, Bravo, 13 minutes, Charlie, 41 minutes, Delta, 74 minutes, or Echo, one Cornwaldo unit, which is the unit of time named after Colonel Cornwaldo Bean's famous ancestor, Colonel Galileo Galawando Bean. I'll read that again. I'll drop it and read it again. In 1973, the world's fastest supersonic commercial jet, Concorde, raced over Africa to keep up with the shadow of the moon during a total solar eclipse. How long was Concorde able to extend the totality which it experienced by chasing the moon's shadow? Was it Alpha, 7 minutes, Bravo, 13 minutes, Charlie, 41 minutes, Delta, 74 minutes, or Echo, one Cornwaldo unit, the unit of time named after Colonel Cornwaldo Bean's Famous ancestor, Colonel Galileo Galawando Bean. If you need to read it, I'll post it in the blue screen. <laughs> W8HRF, back to net control. All right, thank you so much there for another wonderful alternate trivia there, Josh. We're going to think about that one, too. And in the meantime, we've only got one mobile station tonight, and I'm going to go talk to him real quick. Hey, BHQ, Ben, good evening. How are you? What are your answers to the trivia question? KD8EPC, KE8BHQ, I'm doing pretty good. Just trying to drive home and hopefully beat the rain. I don't got much, so I'll just get right to the trivia. I'll go with Bravo for the primary and Alpha for the secondary. I'll let you get on down through the list. This is KE8BHQ, and I'll give it back to you.
All right there, Ben. Well, great to hear you. And uh, I've got to tell you, it's uh, raining in beautiful tropical Medina, Ohio right now. So I hope you make it to your destination uh, sooner than later and uh, all in one piece. So we'll say 73. We've got your uh, answers down as Bravo and Alpha, and we'll talk to you down the log. Let's go back to the top now and talk to Josh, K-Y-U-G. Uh, good evening. How are you? Justin, good hearing you, and good being here. Uh, let's see. I'll start with the trivia first. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with B Bravo for both of them. So for the main trivia, B Bravo. Alternate trivia, B Bravo. And don't shoot your eye out with the BB. Uh, it was a good day today. Yeah, good day. A lot of work stuff. I I want to echo Eric on the work stuff. Um, yeah, so it must just be what's going around, I guess. But it was a good day. We ran around. Other than that, had some appointments, took care of everything, and um, had a good time on the food group net. Real good time. Good net. Had a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. I've uh, just been uh, doing some uh, computer stuff, playing some old computer games. I'm seeing what I can get installed on this Windows XP machine and playing some old Baldur's Gate, the Forgotten Realm stuff. So that, that's a lot of fun. All right. Well, that's all I got. Everybody have a wonderful night. We'll be enjoying it. Hanging on the blue screen. I'll send it back to you, Dustin. K8 YUG back to net. All right, there, Josh. We got you down for a Bravo and Bravo this evening. And uh, yeah, we missed the food night. We were out and about still and doing things. So uh, sounds like it was a good one. And it's always great to hear you there. Uh, we'll say 73 for now, and we'll catch you down the log. And let's go talk to Marie now. KF8 ANS. Good evening. W-H-W-K-Y. All right there, Miss Marie. We got you on for a Bravo and Bravo. And, um, yeah, we had three minutes and 52 seconds of eclipse here in uh, beautiful Medina, Ohio. And uh, we enjoyed it thoroughly, and it was a great time. So I'm glad you got to enjoy it, too. We got you on for Bravo and Bravo. And uh, we're going to stay 73 for now, and that's going to bring me over to uh, Mr. Ray, K5CFY, one of the wonderful night controllers for the Boredom Breaker Net. Uh, how you doing, Ray? Eighty-eight epc this is K5CFY. Good evening there, Mr. Dustin. Thanks for lighting up the airways. We definitely appreciate it. Uh, thanks to Mr. Nick there on the keyboard and uh, doing the pre-net. And uh, did the first hour of the border breaker, Nick. We missed you, but uh, Nick did a wonderful job filling in for you. Uh, I'm going to go with Bravo and Charlie. Bravo, Charlie, for my guesses. And uh, I'll give it back to you, Dustin. 
73, my friend. Take care. K5 CFY. K5 CFY. Well, uh, Ray, great to have you out there. We stand for Bravo and Charlie, and uh, I'll tell you, I really do wish we could have been there first hour today. We would have uh, much rather been there, so uh, there you go. But uh, we got you out for Bravo and Charlie, and for those of you that don't know, you can find Mr. Ray and all the wonderful net controllers for the Boredom Breaker Net every day at noon central time on All Star Note 49562 and Echolink N5XQK-R. Uh, we're going to say 73 to Ray, and that brings me over to Kelly Casey, 0 LRM. Uh, take it away, Kelly. Hope Katie ADPC. Hey, thanks for getting me in there, Dustin. Uh, so for my trivia answers, I think I'm going to go E for both of them. Um, and, uh, oh, wait a minute, there's not an E on the first one, is there? Well, I thought about it. I'll make a new one. Let's say E for uh, Dustin and uh well, I can't even think now. I've had too many beers. Sorry. But I definitely want E for my second one for the Cornwaldo bean or whatever. And uh, thanks for running that. And I'm just sitting here enjoying all the stuff on the blue screen. And uh, everybody have a good evening out there. I hope everybody enjoyed the eclipse. And uh, make sure they have, their, hope they have their glasses on so they don't have any problems in the future. Um, that's about all I got, Dustin. Back to you. And thanks, like I said, thanks for running that. Thanks for Nick for doing a brief show. All right. KC0 LRM is clear. And back to net control. All right there, Kelly. Well, let me tell you, there's no such thing as too much beer. Uh, that's a myth. So uh, there you go. Uh, we got shot for uh, beer and E for your answers. We'll say 73 and great to hear you. And that brings me down to Eddie, W3ETB. Uh, good evening. How are you, Eddie? Oh, hi, Dustin. Yeah, I like that. B, B for beer. No, that's pretty cool. And uh, I'm, I'm going to go actually myself with Alpha and Delta, you know, which is probably both wrong, but <laughs> you got to throw that in there anyway. I was going to try to see if I could keep my eyelids open to watch my uh, favorite show called Resident Alien, uh, but I didn't realize that last week was the season finale, so I turned it on. And there was Chucky slicing people up, and I don't go for that type of I couldn't be a doctor. I tell you, those doctors they have to handle all that blood and all of those stuff and I, I don't I don't think I could deal with that. So <laughs> I would probably pass out right away the first sight of blood, you know. <laughs> and then, oh my goodness. Well, I see Nick loves Chucky. <laughs> Good for you, Nick. <laughs> and he also likes Resident Alien. I love Resident Alien. That is so cool. And the guy used to be on uh, um, the uh, uh, Farfly, I believe is what it was called, Farfly, you know. Anyway, I'll go ahead and say uh, A for uh, the main and D for the second one, and I'll be saying Sirenata, <laughs> or I guess that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> anyway, take care. Nick and Dustin, we'll talk to you later. W3ETV, back to that. All right there, Eddie, we got you down for Alpha and Delta, and uh, it is certainly good to hear you, and sorry your show ended there, and hopefully uh, they'll get some new episodes out soon. Uh, we'll stay 73 for now, and uh, that brings me down to Tom, K-A-8-M-N-T. Uh, good evening, how you doing? K-D-8-E-P-C, this is K-A-8-M-N-T. Good evening, Dustin, and everybody else that's on the net this evening. Well, let's get the trivia taken care of. Uh, the first one, I'm going to go with, uh, it must be B, Gene Shepard. Uh, I got my scribbling down here, and I don't know what I've got, but that's what I've got for the second one, I think. And let's see, the SST. Oh, I'm going to have to go with E, the 
important Waldo Bean unit because I'm not sure the other three, so or four. So we'll go from there. Nothing else going on. Uh, like everybody, we enjoyed the uh, uh, eclipse, and uh, I definitely put my tinfoil hat on so it wouldn't hurt my brain. But then again, maybe my brain was hurt prior to, so who knows? So with that, I'm going to turn everything back over to Net Control. KD8EPC, take it away. All right there, Tom, we've got you down for Bravo and Echo there. So we'll say 73T for now. And that's going to bring me over to Ed, WB8GKV in the Wadsworth area. Ed, how you doing? Just pick C for the for the uh, main nut trivia and C for the uh, uh, other one um, on both of those. So that's what the way we're going to go is uh, Charlie and Charlie. And uh, uh, on that story, I'm not still know the answer, but certainly yes, there's Jimmy Chase. I just know it. One name is familiar. Well, let me see here. There. Uh, uh, Anyway, don't have any traffic or anything. I'm just sitting here everybody in there tonight. And don't forget that your uh, field to stop by on Friday or Saturday. Coming up, might it rain or shine. So there you go. Saw a fox out in the back lawn. I, I guess it was a fox. But it was, uh, look red color, not red, or uh, an orange color. And I haven't seen people talking about they see a fox once in a while, and I had I, I know I've seen one, but it's probably been a those when. But they, they, they're they they nice looking at like a dog, almost, you know what I'm saying. But the face looks like a fox's face instead of a dog, but had a big, big tail. That thing was, I, was, I don't know what you're Charlie and Charlie, so uh, you enjoy watching them from a distance, anyhow. We'll say 73, and we'll probably be seeing you there a Saturday, more than likely. We're going to say 73 to Ed, and that brings me over to my good friend Shannon. KC5, really big guns. How you doing? Hello, Dustin and Ed. KC5 RBG. I'm just getting pestered here by a big furball. But uh, it's all good. A lot of rain here today. And uh, that part wasn't very fun because it wasn't uh, warm. And it was uh, a little bit cooler than I liked. And uh, when it got wet, it uh, made it worse. <laughs> On the way home from a doctor's appointment, though, I stopped at uh, Raising Cane's and had some uh, chicken. And that was good. Really enjoyed that. Oh, and then uh, I came home and I laid down for a minute. And a minute ended up being uh, a lot of hours. So anyway, wave a hand at all my friends near and far. I hear a lot of good ones out there. Hope everyone's having a great day. And uh, sorry about your loss there, Dustin. Uh, I've been praying for you all day, and I uh, hope you got that drink afterwards. This is Kilo Charlie 5, Real Big Guns. God bless the 73. Back in that control. All right there, Shannon. Well, great to hear you out there. And uh, we've always got your answer down as the great state of Oklahoma. And uh, I'll tell you what. We got a small glass here on the 
shack desk and uh, with some ice cubes and uh, some jack and uh, we're kind of sipping on that during the net there so uh, we thank you for that we'll say 73 to you for now uh, let's see Mark KG4SCK was in and out and that brings me over to Miss Lucy KE8YUK take it away Howdy Dustin this is KE8YUK taking care of trivia um for main trivia, I really want to say C, Chevy Chase. I don't know, but that's the only name I know out of all of those names, so I'm going to go with him. Uh, he is otherwise known as Dusty Bottoms because the Three Amigos was real big in my house for a long time, still is, um, and that is the only name that my, my younger siblings know him by, so um, we're going to go with C. And then for alt trivia, mm, I'm going to say... 13 minutes, although I do feel like Josh walked me through this question before, and I remember different answers, and I wish I could remember which one hasn't changed. Um, but I'm going to... Great. He's lying to all of us. I'm going to pause for time. Kilo Echo 8, Yankee Uniform Kilo returning. Uh, so trivia is out of the way. Um, yeah, the eclipse was amazing. Uh, today, what the heck was today? Today was good. We, uh, we just kind of stuck around the house, cleaned up, and then Betty took a super long nap, and I was able to get a ton done, which was so, so nice, because we were gone all of Monday for the eclipse, and then on Tuesday I helped my parents, and, uh, it was just good to be back and good to get stuff handled here. So, um, yeah, I really can't think of much else. Everything's been so focused on the eclipse. Now it's just kind of decompression. So, <laughs> uh, with that, uh, I'm sorry for your loss, Dustin. I was going to pull up a Sasquatch joke, but then my turn was literally then. So <laughs> pretend I said a Sasquatch joke, and it was really, really funny. Uh, now I'll hand it back to you, K-E-Y-U-K, back to Net Control. All right there, Lucy. Well, we always like a good Sasquatch joke, so uh, we'll be standing by and waiting for one. We got you on for Charlie and Bravo. Glad you enjoyed the eclipse there. Uh, we did also. So uh, there you go. Uh, we're going to say 73 to you for now. KD2HC, Chris was in and out. That brings me over to the land of snow and maple syrup. AB8MO, Andy, how are you? Uh-oh, maybe I broke it. AV8MO, Andy, are you out there? Yeah, I've been trying to diagnose my highly offensive hum. Apparently, KD8SLG is the only one who uh, paid attention to my transmission. Uh, I figured it out, although I did switch radios anyway, because I was, for whatever reason, my... 991 is on Simplex, which is why you didn't hear me the first time. There we go. Should be okay now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over here. Stand by. Okay. The hum should be gone now. So uh, it's amazing what a little RF uh, choking and shielding will do. So. I thought it might have been a power supply issue, but it wasn't, because when I switched uh, to 440, it went away, and I'm like, it's got to be something getting into the RF chain, so it should be okay now. It's raining up here in the land of snow and maple syrup. I've been keeping busy this week. I took the whole week off for the eclipse, and, of course, had my aunt come up from East Liverpool, which is where West Virginia, Ohio, and Pennsylvania meet. You put your finger there, you've got your finger over East Liverpool, probably. So she was going to have like 97, 98% totality, but she wanted the whole thing. So she came up, spent the night, and I don't think she was disappointed. So it was cool. And I got to see some friends this week. Uh, it was great seeing Josh for lunch yesterday. I had a wonderful time. And I saw... Show, uh, K8Z, uh, ZIM, that's who it is, uh, up in Willowick, who uh, 
went to bed or something. So uh, we had a nice uh, log chat. Uh, we got together about 10 o'clock. It was like 12.30 by the time we left. So had a great time with Joe, and I'm going to meet up uh, for breakfast in the morning with a couple of hams, too. So I'm keeping busy during my time off this week. Can't believe it's flying back. And uh, apparently, let me drop it a sec. Of course, I had to have an ID there. Um, I took a vacation from the border breaker net, apparently. I didn't realize that uh, I didn't link it up until it was 3 o'clock in the afternoon or 2.30. I don't know. The net was over by then. So I apologize for all those who normally get on the border breaker net on 015. I wasn't around. Uh, I mean, when I'm at work, I remember, but I wasn't at work today. <laughs> I think I set it up, and let's see here. I'm gonna. I have no idea on the first one. I guess I'll go for A for Alpha or for Andy, and I gotta go with the Cornwall to be answered. That was the most one of the most creative answers I've ever heard anybody come up with. So just for a, a Cornwaldo something. Anyway, I'll have to look at the blue screen and see what it's called. Back she comes. A B eight. I'm up with the humblest signal. All right there, Andy. Well, um, I tell you, your hum was better, and then it came back, and then it left, and then it was back. Uh, it's really weird to say, so uh, I'm not really sure. It's not as bad as it was, though, so uh, I guess you're moving in the right direction. We got shot for Alpha and Echo, and uh, that eclipse certainly was something. We're going to say 73 for now, and that brings me over to Phil K8PJW. Good evening. Take it away. All right, let's try that again, K-8-P-J-W. Phil, are you there? All right, nothing heard there. Uh, let's see, we're going to go down here to uh, KD-8-P-O-Q. Uh, Corey over in Michigan, how you doing? Yeah, this is KD-8. BOQ, doing fantastic, coming here from the Great Lakes state of Michigan. Thanks for having me on the uh, net tonight. Before I forget, I had to write the answers down. Um, I, I'm i saying Delta and Charlie, Delta and Charlie for the uh, answers to the questions. As far as the eclipse goes, um, in northern Michigan, um, in Grand Traverse County, um, it's, uh, if you're looking at the palm of your hand, your right hand, the tip of the pinky, that's where I was during the eclipse, and uh, it was about 90%, um, something like that, 85 or something, um, and it was, uh, it was a pretty cool experience. Um, I'm really grateful to have had the time to listen to some of the nets before and, and learn quite a bit about it, so... Anyway, um, I, it's been a pleasure to hear everybody out there tonight and uh, to watch some of the uh, conversation here on the blue screen. But with that, I will give it back to Net Control, and uh, I'll just be uh, be listening over here. This is KDA BOQ. W eight W M seven Echo Whiskey Yankee uh, from the UK. All right, M7 station from the UK, stand by. We're not taking check-ins. Uh, we'll get to you here shortly. But uh, I want to go back up here to KD8 BOQ. Uh, Corey, we got you on for Delta and Charlie. And uh, welcome to the Beacon Net again. You're uh, you're welcome here anytime. We're here every Sunday and Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern time on All Star Node 48496 and Echolink WAWKY-R. So uh, we had 100% here in uh, Northeast Ohio, and it was uh, – Absolutely amazing sight and a once in a lifetime deal. So there you go. Uh, we're going to say 73 for now, and that's going to bring it down to uh, Steven here, KF8 ANT. How you doing? Wife and 
I enjoyed the eclipse. Grandson enjoyed the bonfire across the street more than anything else. But, uh, hey, you know, three-year-old attention span doesn't mean all that much. Uh, trivia, I think I'll go with uh, Delta and Bravo. And uh, take it back to the next show. All right there, Steve. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we've got your answers down, and uh, I really do appreciate you stopping by. Uh, next time, if you can, uh, get a little closer to the mic. Your audio was real, real light. I had to crank the radio up all the way to be able to hear you. So uh, I got you down for Delta and Bravo, but I did hear everything you had to say there, and uh, glad you had time watching the uh, watching the kiddo there. So we'll say 73, and that's going to take me over to Florida. David, KO4, DKN, good evening. How are you? Justin and Andy and Nick and everybody on the Beacon Net. It's been a while, but uh, I'm glad to be able to tune in tonight and uh, listen. Uh, for the trivia, I'm going to give it, uh, for the primary, a B. And for the secondary, I'm going to go with a B. Fingers crossed these answers are correct, but we'll stick around for the answers later. Send it back to you, Dustin. Good hearing you today. All right there, David. Well, it has been a little while, so it's great to have you with us. And uh, we've got you down for Bravo and Bravo on the trivia department this evening. So, uh, yeah, stick around and wait for the answers, and uh, we'll get back to you there, get back to them uh, shortly. So we're going to say 73T for now, and uh, KEVOX Scott was in and out, so we'll wave a hand at Scott. That brings me to another good friend of mine, Whiskey Victor 3 Kilo. Phil, take it away. KEPC, WV3K, hello Dustin, and again too, my uh, uh, my heart fell towards you and uh, uh, Grandma, so I'm, I'm really sorry, but uh, it's a life cycle that sometimes we all, most of us, uh, you know, have feelings towards our loved ones and it uh, doesn't feel good never does but uh remember too that you have a lot of a lot of people loving on you and you and care about you so um always remember we're here for you um anyway as far as the trivias are concerned um i've been here trying to think as much as i can about all the things that were said putting the the questions together that it just, uh, and then over time, you know, between the time the questions were given to it now, I, I, uh, I, I can only say one thing but that I would want to say about the, the Concord. Um, I, I know of the Concord. My mom taken that uh, many times to go to Paris, France, to be with her, uh, with her family. Uh, uh, and uh, speaking of Mach 2 and considering well what that has to do with the eclipse i can only say that that would increase the amount of time that the concord would stay within the 200 mile range or so of the width of the path uh i'd have to i'd have to say that for that one uh, uh joshua put, put a good one on that spin on that one i think this <laughs> Uh, probably go with something moderate uh, because I know the the the, the travel um, of of the uh, of the uh, eclipse as it was moving was like something over two thousand miles an hour or something like that and and Mach two is what I guess the Concorde um, could uh, probably just barely keep up with matching that. So I'll go with the, the, the 30, 20, 27 minutes or something like that for the Concord, the SST. Uh, the other question, I don't even remember what it was. It just, um, I, I'm, I'm in a brain fog right now, but uh, I'm going to leave it at that and uh, say T. 
to all to have a really wonderful good night. I'm going to go and get some sleep. i got a couple things to take care of tomorrow and looking forward, hopefully, to get something accomplished. So with that, uh, my uh, prayers and blessings to all and uh, much affection to everyone. And uh, I hope everyone has a good night's sleep, too. So with that, KDADPC, and thank you, Nick, for doing what you're doing there. And um, appreciate you all for what you what you do to make the net possible. So KDADPC for the WWKY Beacon Net. This is Whiskey Victor 3 Kilo here in Canal Fulton. 73 to all, and God bless. All right there, Phil, but we'll say 73 to you. Uh, thanks for everything, and uh, we'll catch up with you again real soon. Well, let's jump over here to, uh, looks like, North Carolina and talk to KQ4IZV. James, how you doing? This is KQ4IZV. Uh, we're doing good tonight, actually, kind of just hanging around with the pups, and we're just relaxing, watching TV, and whatever else is going on around here with the family. Um, tonight's trivia question, I'm going to take a shot at the first one, Bravo. And uh, on the second one, I'm kind of an aviation bus historian. I'm going to have to go with Delta on that one. So, uh, yeah, that's about all I've got for that. And I uh, hope everybody else is having a good evening, and uh, thank you for putting us together like you guys always do. And... Um, have a good night. 73 is KQ4IZV. Out. All right there, James. Well, thanks for stopping by with us. We get you on for Bravo and Delta. Now, you're welcome back anytime, my friend. We're here every Sunday and Wednesday at 10 p.m. So, uh, we'll say 73 for now, and I hope to hear you again real soon. And that's going to take me back over to Florida, and we're going to talk to uh, Captain Bob here, KK4, a BMF, uh, on a sailboat, I think. Uh, Captain Bob, good evening. What are your trivia answers? And uh, please tell me a little bit about your vessel. Uh, next is Earl Justin. This is Captain Bob, KK4, BFM, returning to the channel. Um, I, I'm in Daytona Beach, and we're about, we were about... 800 miles southeast of the moon shadow, so so we didn't see a thing down here. But I was born and raised in Pittsburgh, so as a kid uh, in the 50s and 60s, I'm pretty sure I saw one, but I'm not positive. But <laughs> and on the question, uh, primary question, I'm I, I, I'm not sure which uh, whether it was A or B, but I'll take Gene Shepard. Gene Shepard, I think it was B, but I'm not sure. And on the secondary question, I'll take. Uh, D, I think 74 minutes. So, so I'll take, uh, I think, Shepard and 74. <laughs> and, and my vessel's a cruising sailboat with a, a Bermuda rig, and um, I lived um, 72 years on land, and this is my uh, 13th year on a sailboat. And uh, the sailboat's the way to go. It's, uh, it's uh, I love it. You can't get me off it. I'll die at sea, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Captain Bob, back to the next control. All right there, Captain Bob. We got you on for Bravo and Delta, and uh, I've just got one more follow-up question. So, uh, so how does this work? You just wake up one morning, you pop up on deck, and you decide, uh, boy, I don't like the scenery here. Maybe my neighbors aren't the nicest, and uh, you just uh, you, you let loose and you sail to the next spot, or you usually uh, stay in port there. Uh, Captain Bob, back to that. <laughs> The, 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 the neighbors I ran into, uh, there is a few that are, big, are um, bad actors, but 98% of them are, are nice people. Sailboat people are nice. And uh, and what's really, really cool is, is you'll see um, young families on sailboats that come from all over the world, and they pull into the dock, and they'll have three, four little kids on there. And uh, I remember one, little, one boat pulled in, and they came from, I think, Sweden. Pulled into the dock, and these um, two kids jumped off. They they couldn't be born five or six years old, and 
both of them hopped off the boat onto the dock, tied the boat off, and right after they talked, tied the boat off, the cats and the dog jumped off. <laughs> so, so sailboaters are great, great people, and uh, and like I say, and if you're around them long enough, you'll see some people from all over the world. And uh, but the bad actors, there's not many of them, and uh, usually we somehow get rid of them. Anyway, Captain Bob, back to the net control. All right, right there, Captain Bob. Thanks for that little window into the sailboat life. We certainly do appreciate it. We'll say 73 to you for now. And that brings me over to the northernmost mark, KC-8 Fox Queen Victor. Take it away. All right, Dustin, Nick, KCFQV. Yeah, I'm listening now to the, the stream. Yeah, I got my... Uh, Future sound connection done, and but I, I didn't hear what the main trivia was, and I was looking on the blue screen, I haven't found it yet. But I had seen the eclipse photos, I looked at them just now. They're so great with the uh, net logger uh, blue screen, but on the other one, I didn't really see it, I didn't hear it. I, uh, Heard it, but I didn't hear it because we were doing other things. But I want to say, uh, Shepard, whoever Shepard is, we'll try that. On the main one, this alternative is going to be A, seven minutes. So we'll send it back to Net Control and uh, see what happens there. Case FKV. I had a good day today. I got all my things. I can't be ashamed of myself today. So, Case FQE, and there I come on the YouTube stream. Case FQE, back to net. All right there, Mark. We got you down for Bravo and Alpha, and uh, glad you got some things done. And uh, thanks again for turning down uh, whatever source of audio you had behind you. It's a lot better when we're just listening for you. So, uh, we'll say 73, and we'll catch you there down in the log. And let's go talk to our official representative of Arkansas, KI5 RFI, our good friend Matt. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, Dustin and the net. This is KI5 RFI from the land of opportunity. Well, uh, the uh, eclipse uh, extravaganza was a uh, great excuse for a cookout with my daughter and son-in-law and two grandkids so the eclipse wasn't all that great itself it was 98 percent here which was pretty interesting but uh not what i was hoping it'd be but anyhow the trivia questions i'm going to go with uh bravo and delta and i'll turn it back to you dustin say good evening ki5 rfi Right there, Mac. Well, I'm glad you got to have a nice barbecue with family, and uh, we've got you down for uh, Bravo and Delta for your answers. And uh, yeah, man, that eclipse is something else. We had 100% here, and uh, we were sitting right next to the lake and uh, enjoying ourselves. So uh, there's never a bad day next to the lake. So uh, there you are. We'll say 73 to you for now. That brings me to another good friend of ours, AI5Q, my good friend Jarris. Good evening. Well, good evening, Dustin, and let us just all revel in the silence that is a net without Alan on it yet. <clears throat> Hopefully he doesn't show up. If he does, we've uh, enjoyed uh, over an hour and 20 minutes of uh, net control without uh, KI5DAY chiming in and ruining it for the rest of us. So just wanted to point that out in case nobody else noticed. I did. <clears throat> and it was glorious. Um, <laughs> as far as the trivia is concerned, I will go with Bravo and Delta, respectively. And um, let's see, had a uh, pretty good day all in all, just uh, hanging out, uh, 
probably had a better day than uh, Dustin. Sorry about the, your grandma there. And uh, <clears throat> things will uh, hopefully get better with time. You never can tell, though. So sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. It just depends on how uh, how you mentally make your uh, composure up to deal with the situation. So hopefully you do your best to uh, move on down the road with your life and uh, continue to uh, expand and grow and uh, do more. So anyway, AI 5Q, back to Night Control. All right there, Jerris. Well, thanks for joining us, and uh, thank you so much for your kind words. We certainly do appreciate it. Uh, it was a big loss there, but uh, you know what? Uh, we uh, we had a lot of good memories. There you go. We got you on for Bravo and Delta, my friend. We'll say 73, and uh, we'll catch you there down the log. And that brings me over to uh, Fairlawn, and we're going to talk to W2JLS. Uh, John, I was in your neck of the woods earlier. How are you? KDA-EPC, this is W2JLS. Good evening on your ears, sir. I'm really sorry about your grandmother, Dustin. I, I just heard um, as the uh, as, as Nick was shutting down um, his his front end, I, I heard somebody refer to your loss, I, and I picked up through subsequent um, check-ins here. Once the show began with you, it was your grandmother, so I'm very sorry, sir. Um, yeah, uh, things are pretty good, I guess, all in all. Feeling pretty good out here in Farallon. Uh, like everyone else, I loved that eclipse. That was my second total. Um, I got to see the 2017 from a boat down in Charleston, and this one in my front yard was it was a treat. Um, you know, be, being able to see it from home is, uh, wow. I mean, that's a, um, imagine how far people go to great lengths to get to see an eclipse, and be able to sit parked in, in your rocking lounger in the front yard, staring up at that was um, wonderful. And wow, man, uh, who was that giving poor Alan a such a hard time? That was pretty funny, though. Um, I don't know if that was Jiris. That was kind of, that was funny. I did chuckle. Um, Dustin, trivia questions. Let's address those. Um, I I heard the first question and I thought the only thing I could say about that is it's not Chevy Chase um, because I'm pretty sure I would have picked up whether or not he was a ham operator by now. Um, but it seems like the people that are the most confident are guessing this um, Shepherd fella. And again, I don't I, I have no claim to know uh, that that at all. But um, I'll, I'll go with B on that one. And then relative to the the Concord thing, it seems like I've heard this in the distant past. I don't remember the exact figure, but I'm going to put my money on the, the longest choice there, which I think was um, D. So um, there are my guesses, sir. And, again, sorry about your grandmother. And, um, yeah, it would be good to catch up sometime with a proper conversation. It's been way too long. Back to you, sir, from W2JLS. W H W K Y. All right, there, John. Well, we'd love to catch up with you anytime. Uh, we've got you down for a Bravo and Delta, and uh, thank you for your kind words there. And this is KDEPC with the Beacon Net. Uh, we're going to go down the list here. Uh, K E E Z I N Joe is in and out, and that brings me down to uh, N J Five Zulu Zulu John. How are you? All right, we'll give him one more call. NJ5 Zulu, you there? All right, nothing heard there. Let's go down here and see if we can't catch less. Uh, K4LOM, good evening. Good evening, Dustin. Everybody on the net. Condolences for your loss, Dustin. We'll be praying for you. First time check in here, so uh, thanks for having me. As far as the trivia question, I will say B. Bravo, Gene Shepard for the first one, being that's one of my favorite. And I know for a fact 
He was an amateur radio operator before he passed. And I will guess D Delta on the backup trivia question there. 73 to everybody. K4 LN, Independence, Kentucky, last. Right there, Les. Well, thanks for stopping by. Uh, we see your first time checking, and we want to welcome you back anytime. We have the beacon that every Sunday and Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern time. We start taking early check-ins at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, and uh, you can always find us on all-star node 48496 and echo link W-A-W-K-Y-R. That's every Sunday and Wednesday, and uh, you can stop by there anytime and visit us, too, and uh, somebody will usually answer you. So, uh, Les, we got you now for Bravo and Delta. We're going to say 73. And next on the list, and uh, we're giving him a new nickname here, Captain Dave, NT8D. Good evening. Good evening, Dustin. Good evening, Beaconetters and all the listeners. <laughs> I'll, I'll take the nickname. Thanks. Heard there's another sailor out there. Yeah, there's something about it. And, and you can't hear the wind and the waves when you got a motor running. So, yeah, there's something about the, the sailing that's just very special. So, uh, looking forward to another conversation. I'm up way past my bedtime there, in, in case you hadn't noticed there, Dustin. <laughs> uh, but as you got closer, uh, after I, like, monitored, I, I figured I should stick around and say hello to everybody. Uh, thanks for... Thank you guys for doing it in the late night. That is, and if I were younger, man, this would be my hangout. Uh, but I just happened to be up late tonight and had a rehearsal. And uh, it's been fun listening to everybody. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm just going to do guesses on the trivia here. Uh, I, I was going to, like, send it out to the random uh, letter generator there and let, let the... Uh, uh, the, the trivia guy just write down some random letters for me, but I'll just go Baker and Baker just for, to make it easy. And uh, uh, let me just get a quick beep there, uh, Dustin. Uh, I just want to say that uh, I've just kind of picked up the last half of the net here or so. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a very fortunate person, despite the condolences. Uh, I was very fortunate in getting to, I, I knew all of my great, all of my grandparents and three of my great grandmothers. Um, and, uh, at the time when I was a little kid, I didn't re I just, this just seemed normal to me. Uh, and then as an adult, I realized uh, that not everybody gets to do that. Uh, so, uh, you you were very fortunate to uh, have a relationship with your grandma, and uh, from my perspective, um, all of these moments that we have are the permanent parts of the universe, and all of the moments you got to spend with your grandma can never be erased, and uh, they are permanent, and they are forever, and uh, I think you can take... Uh, Solace in that. Wishing you the very best, my friend, and uh, uh, you're, you're sharing a lot of loss with uh, other folks. Back to net control, NTAT. All right there, Dave. Well, thanks so much for staying up late with us. It is certainly good to hear you every now and again. I uh, hope practice went well, and uh, thank you for your kind words there. Uh, we do have uh, lots of good memories there, and uh, she raised 16 grandkids and 40-something-odd great-grandkids, so uh, there you go. We're going to say 73 to you, Dave. We hit you out for Bravo and Bravo, and that brings you down to the bottom of the list, and last but not least on the list so far is Kevin K6KJV. Uh, no footprints on your back tonight, Kevin. How you doing? Yeah, this is K6KJV from Valley Springs, California, and that's where I'm sitting right now. And, yeah, that's that's one of my most memorable moments in uh, ham radio. <laughs> oh, I just don't get walked on. I get trampled on. So, yeah, 
It's happened a few times after that, but I'm okay with it. So uh, it's been a while since I got to talk to y'all here for a while, so I've been feeling kind of sick. Had uh, Didn't have a radio voice there for a couple of weeks, and uh, that kind of sucks. And I'm still got a little frog in my throat a little bit there, and I'm sorry to hear about your grandma. I know how the loss is, and I'll be praying for you and your family in your time of grief. And uh, so with that, I'd like to, well, let me get, I think my answers are going to be Bravo Delta on the uh, answers there. And uh, other than that, I don't have too much. I just know you that you're in my prayers, and uh, as as well as everybody else here. And I'd like to say God bless, and 73 to you and everyone else here on the net and all around the world. So K6KJV, you're back to net control. God bless. Goodbye, fellas. All right there, Kevin. Well, thanks so much for stopping by, and uh, it is good to hear you. It has been a little bit. and uh, Yeah, you know, that wasn't just a stomping on. It was a spectacular trampling that day. But we've got you down for Bravo and Delta, and it's always great to hear you, and uh, I really do appreciate all the kind words there. Uh, so uh, we're going to say 73 to you for now, my friend. And uh, Kevin was the bottom of the list. This is KD8EPC with the beacon that I'm at the bottom of the list, and I'm looking for check-ins. Please call now. Hey, Papa Julie Whiskey, recheck. November Juliet 5, NJ5 Zoo, John in Tulsa, Oklahoma, NJ5 Zoo. We didn't get any new stations, but we got both the stations that we called and missed before. So let's go up here and start with uh, Phil K8PJW. Good evening. How are you, Phil? K8PC, K8PJW. Good evening, Dustin. Good to hear you on the air. And good evening to everyone on the beacon. Uh, Yeah, I closed my eyes for two seconds there at the bottom of the list. I don't know how you did that, but that's amazing. Anyway, um, that I could still make uh, the tail end of it here, that, um, and I'm going to go with Bravo Delta for my answers on the, on the trivia, and uh, wish all the best to your family. This is KAPTW 73. All right there, Phil. Well, we're glad to have you with us tonight. Now we got your answers down, and now we thank you for your recheck there. We're going to say 73, and that's going to bring me down to uh, NJ5 Zulu. Uh, John, how are you? W-H-W-K-Y. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, just trying to figure out all of them. Uh, I got one on radios that uh, you can get uh, free little numbers forward and make everything work and work and uh, jump up and down and lick your face and all that other stuff. And, uh, and I was trying to get the... Uh, Bluetooth uh, to uh, work, and I just found out that I was uh, <laughs> I had two different things trying to get into the Bluetooth. But uh, anyway, that uh, Kenwood THD seven five A is not a simple thing. Oh man, there, John. Well, that sounds like that's uh, something else for sure. Uh, did you have answers for our trivia questions tonight? if you had uh, answers to our trivia questions uh, or if you uh, need them uh, re-read. Uh, uh, asking things about the Concord, is that what you're... Uh, I think I got in a little bit on the long tail. Uh, roger, roger. Uh, 
on the uh, Concord. Stand by, I'll have that red. That's going to be Josh with the alternate. I'm just going to have them both red while we're down here at the bottom of the list. So uh, stand by, and I'll have them both red, and I'll get back to you. KAQKO, Nick at night, take it away. KAQKO, okay, all right. The question tonight is, his call sign was K2ORS, Kilo 2, Oscar Romeo Sierra, and he wrote and narrated a classic film that had everyone saying, You'll shoot your eye out. Who is he? Your options are Alpha, Peter Billingsley, Bravo, Gene Shepard, Charlie, Chevy Chase, or Delta, Darren McGavin. With that, I'll pass it back to you, Dustin, KEQKO. All right, thank you very much there, Nick. Now let's go to Josh W8HRF. Take it away. KD80PC, W8HRF, tonight's alternate trivia was, is, in 1973, the world's fastest supersonic commercial jet, Concorde, raced over Africa to keep up with the shadow of the moon during a total solar eclipse. How long was Concorde able to extend the totality which it experienced by chasing the moon's shadow? Your options are Alpha, 7 minutes, Bravo, 13 minutes, Charlie, 41 minutes, Delta, 74 minutes, or Echo, one Cornwaldo unit. This is the unit of time named after Colonel Cornwaldo Bean's famous ancestor, Colonel Galileo Galawando Bean. I'll read, read the answers in just a second. Again, WHR for turning. Your, your options are Alpha, 7 minutes, Bravo, 13 minutes, Charlie, 41 minutes, Delta, 74 minutes, or Echo, one Cornwaldo unit, the unit of time named after Colonel Cornwaldo Bean's famous ancestor, Colonel Galileo Galawando Bean. W8HRF, back to KD8EPC. Uh, Zulu says Delta, four minutes. All right there, John, we got you down. We'll say 73 T and we'll catch you down the log. All right, we're at the bottom of the list. This is KDDPC with the Beacon at I'm taking check-ins. Please call now. All right, nothing heard. Let's go talk to the net control team. KD8SLG, just Nick, take it away. This is KD8SLG, all of you Beacon Netizens, and you too, Dustin. Good to catch up with you today, man. All right, let's just get trivia out of the way. I originally chose Alpha because Peter Billingsley is the only name that I recognize, but I think you all convinced me it's Bravo at this point. But I'm sticking with the one. And for the second one, I'm going to go with Delta. Uh, as much as I want to say um, Gallo Cornwaldo Bean and Cornwaldo Bean and Cornwaldo Bean, uh, I'm going with Delta. I started out originally with Charlie because uh, I did some quick math, and uh, then I did some more math. So I'm going with Delta. Uh, if the Concord uh, was going at uh, its maximum speed, it could definitely stretch it out that long. So that's what I got. I didn't bother the archivist with uh, <laughs> the relationship with uh Gallo Cornwaldo being tonight, uh, I'm giving her a break. Start thinking field day. This is KD8 SLG, back to net control. All right there, Nick. Well, uh, mark me down for Bravo and Delta also. And uh, we're going to go down to Josh real quick, W8 HRF, and just get his... Uh, Main trivia answer. Uh, Josh, please give me your main trivia answer, please. KD8, EPC, W8HRF. Gonna go with Gene. Y'all convinced me. W8HRF back to net control. 
All right, thank you, Josh. KQKO, Nick at Night, uh, take it away, give us your comments, let it drop, and then give us the main trivia answer. KQKO. All right, thank you, Dustin. Yeah, I'll uh, also throw my condolences out again about uh, about your grandmother. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then people are talking about the eclipse. I'm going to – I – I, I had a good time. I thought it was good. You know, I don't know if I'd want to travel to see the eclipse. I really enjoyed it, but for the amount of time, I don't know, maybe since I've seen, I saw the one in 2017 that was a partial here, and then I saw this one. I don't know if I'd want to travel to see an eclipse, because it seems like that's uh, a lot of craziness. But it was really cool to see. You know, we went with my son's Boy Scout troop, had a cookout, and uh, did the, had the eclipse, and all that kind of stuff, so it was a lot of fun. I uh, picked up a new smoker last weekend because mine from last year, my old pellet grill, kind of kicked the bucket. So I replaced that, started barbecuing this weekend, made some ribs, made some pulled pork. So I got some chicken in the fridge that has to go on there at some point in the very near future. And, uh, yeah, with the weather's warming up, it's time to start grilling and barbecuing more and, uh, and enjoying that. And um, let's see, uh, that's, that's really all I've got. Oh, the trivia question. So the, um, the Concorde. Now, I'm going to go with Delta, and the reason I'm going with Delta is because it's the longest time, and I don't, you know, there, there were a few flights that chased the eclipse this or this last Monday that flew from Austin to Buffalo chasing the eclipse, and I've got to think that if the Concorde only did it in a matter of minutes, only extended it to, say, like four minutes of totality, the people that paid all that money for the standard airliners chasing the eclipse here would have been really, really saw sour and salty. I would have been if I only got to see, like, you know, a very, very brief moment of totality on an airplane. So I don't know the exact number, but I'm going with the longest one, which is Delta. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So I'll break for time and read the answer for the main question. Okay, so tonight's question was, his call sign was K2ORS, Kilo 2, Oscar Romeo Sierra, and he wrote and narrated a classic film that had everyone saying, you'll shoot your eye out. Who is he? The answer was, bravo, Gene Shepard. Gene Shepard was a writer and radio television personality who narrated A Christmas Story. The movie was based on his writing. And with that, I'll pass it back to you, Dustin. This is K8QKO. All right, thank you for your kind words there, Nick, and thanks again for being there for alternate trivia tonight, and uh, we look forward to the next one there. All right, Mike, KEQW is in and out, so is uh, Eric, KEQWZ, and that brings me down to uh, W8HRF. Josh, give us your comments, break, and then give us the alternate trivia. W8WKY. KDADPC, W8HRF. Good evening, everybody. Oh, man. Yep. Uh, had a good time watching the Eclipse. Uh, uh, I don't remember anything else I was going to say. Um, it was an all right day. I think so far the Beaconet was one of the highlights. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, I really don't have too much else. It all left my head as soon as I keyed up. So I'm going to drop it and give the alternate trivia answer. I remember. I uh, was going to also extend my condolences, Dustin, about your grandmother. I lost my grandma a couple of years ago, so I know that uh, it's a tough time. So uh, my condolences there. Um, all right, tonight's alternate trivia question and answer. Uh, again, alternate trivia. In 1973, the world's fastest supersonic commercial jet Concorde raced over Africa to keep up with the shadow of the moon during a total solar eclipse. How long was Concorde able to extend totality? Uh, which it experienced by chasing the moon's shadow. The answer was Delta, 74 minutes. On June 30th, 1973, Concorde 001, flying at 55,000 feet, extended the duration of totality from 7 minutes and 4 seconds on the ground to 74 minutes. The seven observers aboard the plane who were from France, Britain, and the United States, um, they, uh, they broke the record for the longest total, total solar eclipse in human history. Um, the path of totality that day was about uh, 156 miles wide, uh, where Concorde intercepted it, 
with the moon's shadow moving at about 1,500 miles per hour. Concorde flew at around 1,350 miles an hour. That's about Mach 2, uh, along with the path of totality in the same direction that the shadow was going. Uh, and it was keeping up with, so it was able to keep up with it as long as possible. Um, the extra long totality allowed these scientists to study the sun's corona, its uh, chromosphere, and the intensity of the sun's light from ab much above the, uh, from high in the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, I'll post a link to a very interesting video um, uh, about that uh, that flight. It was pretty cool. Anyways, that's all I got. W8HRF back to net control. Thanks, Dustin. Nine my kind of airline flight. They're not messing around. We're going to get to our destination quick, whether we had delays or not. So <laughs> there you go. Thanks again there, Josh, and uh, thanks for the kind words. We certainly do appreciate it. All right, with the bottom of the list, this is KDADPC with the Beacon Net. We're looking for any last-minute new check-ins for the Beacon Net. Please call now. Well, a recheck, dust and KSFQV. Yeah, Uniform Delta. All right, we got a recheck from Mark, and uh, I got another station, but all I got was Uniform Delta. Uh, Uniform Delta, would you uh, key for a couple of seconds and come back with your call? November 5, Sierra, Uniform Delta, Spring, Texas. All right, we got you that time, N5SUD. Uh, go ahead. Hope everybody's doing well. Just wanted to say that uh, we were fortunate enough to experience uh, total uh, three minutes and 55 seconds of totality uh, in Sisterdale. We drove up there over the weekend and uh, just for that purpose, and it was awesome. All right there. Well, I'm glad you got to enjoy the totality. We also had totality here in uh, beautiful northeast Ohio in a... Uh, I didn't have to drive anywhere, but I did drive up the road just so I could uh, experience it lakeside. So uh, there you go, Thomas. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, we're going to break for time here. We're going to say 73, and uh, we'll catch you there down the log, and we're going to catch our recheck real quick from KC to FQV. Mark, take it away. Yeah, case okay, okay. I just was wondering if Eric stopped in tonight because I was going to ask him if he did. I heard the question last night on the uh, in the, uh on the Sarah Club and that about the graham crackers. I was going to ask him if he could retype it in the thing, but I don't think he stopped in. I don't know. Case okay, FQV. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about it, buddy, so uh, I can't help you there. Maybe after the net, somebody else can uh, answer your question. So uh, there you go. We're going to say 73 to Mark. We're at the bottom of the list, and uh, we're going to make this the last call. Last call for check-ins for the uh, Beacon Net. Please call now. D3 QND. I just checked in to say hello and goodbye to you guys. I mean, good night. I'm on my way to bed. So everybody have a wonderful evening, and sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. KC3QND, back to you, Dustin. All right, we picked up one Miss Jeannie, KC3QND. We got you in and out there, Miss Jeannie. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you tell Pete we said hello in a... Give Mr. Wilson a scratch on the ears. All right, we're going to break for time and make this is the last final call for check-ins. Final call, please call now.
right, nothing else heard on behalf of the Silver Creek Amateur Radio Association, myself, KD8SLG, KEQKO, KEQWEW8HRF, KEVZA. We'd like to thank each and every one of you for checking in with us this evening. Come and join us on the next edition of the Beacon Net, Sunday night at 10 p.m. here on the WAWKY repeater 147.390 with a positive offset to PL tone of 114. All star note 48496 and echo link WAWKY-R. Also, don't forget to check out the barometer net every morning at 7 a.m. except for Sunday, also here on the WAWKY repeater. And don't forget to visit our friends over on the N5XQK Memorial Board and Breaker Night every day at noon central time at all start out 49562 and echo link N5XQK-R. You've been listening to the Beacon Net. This is KDDPC returning to the repeater for normal amateur use at this time, and I will be clear. 73, y'all. KC8 FQV, this is KD at SLG. Are you still there, Mark? Nick, KC FQV. The one, uh, I normally, I was at home, well, I was home finally, but I didn't get the, I normally copy the whole text of the uh, breaker net, the, well, any of the nets, and then I can go back and look at the text then. I didn't uh, get it copied, and I, I think it was something with the um, uh, 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 graham crackers, case of KB. Well, the, the question was uh, the graham flour used to make graham cracker crust or graham crackers, and uh, what was the what is the grain used to make graham, graham flour for graham crackers? And uh, the answer was wheat. Wheat. All right. Okay. I, uh, yeah, I, I had a nice night last night, but the computer this morning when I was clicking on the blue for in the net logger, I clicked on the one of them, and the thing said, oh, I'm going to close. <laughs> All right, well, I thank you. It was a week then. Hey, I uh, thank you. You did a good job yesterday and did a good job tonight and today. Well, that was it. Right, today was the day you had the help do it yourself. But, hey, uh, you did a good job, and um, condolences for uh, Nick and his family and that all. KSF QB. W H W K Y. KC8 FQV, KD SLG. I uh, hope that answered your question there, Mark. And uh, I'm rolling off of this chair. I've been here for too long. I'll talk to you later on. KC8 FQV, KD8 SLG. Have a good night, Mark. Jack, what's going to happen with me, too? KC FQV.
KG5 ATA monitoring. Uh, curious, was, was there a net tonight or what? Uh, yeah, come back. W H W K Y. This is KJ5 ATA. Uh, we're still monitoring. Uh, anybody want to respond? That's okay too. KJ5 ATA, KD8BOQ. This is Corey coming to you from the Great Lakes state of Michigan. Uh, how are you doing uh, in Texas there this evening, sir? where I stand. 
Anyways, uh, back to you, B.O.Q. Corey, Michigan. Wanted to uh, leave a pause there in case there was anyone else trying to get in and letting systems reset. Thank you, Guy ATA. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, well, congratulations. That's fantastic. Yeah, um, you know, I'm glad that you were able to quickly upgrade and, and move forward. That's uh, that's great. Um, and it sounds like, you know, I know it can be tough to get to the club station, <laughs> um, you know, for various reasons. And it's nice to have Echo Link to uh, be able to reconnect. You know, I, um, I've been a ham for 19 years now. Uh, I'm still a technician, and actually I'm currently in the process of studying for uh, I want to take the general and extra this summer, and uh, so I've been studying that. Uh, but when I became licensed, um, you know, it was not always easy <laughs> to get to a club station or, or to equipment, and um, Echolink uh, was a good solution that was there, and it's really grown since, and I'm happy to hear that, and it, it seems to bring a lot more people together. So. Anyway, uh, with that, uh, great to hear you out there. Um, and, um, you know, one thing I guess I'll ask, you know, uh, on your end, um, any uh, any station managers there? One thing that's often talked about on this server is uh, the, the pets out there. Any any pets on your end? And I uh, hope you're having a good evening down there in Texas. Back to you, KD8BOQ. Um, well, just to let you know, uh, 
I'm trying to think about uh, where, you know, that I'm looking at my pinky in my hand. I said, I'm thinking that's, you go across the bay and you're going to go to the, uh, what do they call it, the uh, Uper or something? <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, Michigan fishing, fishing and all that sort of thing, lots of water. You're surrounded, surrounded by water. You're just a big hand, a big mitten in the pencil load or something like that. That's surrounded by water. That's that's okay. That's good. Anyway, so uh, no, there's not that there's not that much. Uh, uh, well, I say we have the Gulf of Mexico, but that's a little bit distance. I'm in Central Texas, I'm but north north of Austin, about 20 miles. I live in Georgetown, but I live in a retirement community known as Sun City. It's a I don't know if you're familiar with Del Webb. Uh, they they uh, make these uh, retirement communities, uh, some cities uh, and such around, you know, uh, for people who are retired and like to play golf and pickleball and, you know, just roll around in golf carts and things like that. <laughs> it's kind of like what we do here. And, and uh, we have a radio club, and, and uh, it's kind of active. to some uh, some icons uh, and some uh, Ken Woods uh, works some HF if I ever get around to doing it uh, otherwise I would love to build my own station but I just don't have that either yeah anyways yeah so uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce off before I get cut off uh, so I'm gonna pass it back to you and I'll, I'll, I'll come back with one more thing I gotta say to you
The call sign is easy for me to remember because uh, my son, his name is Brian Oak, it's B O Q. <laughs> so <laughs> that's pretty easy. I can log that in. I won't have to write it down as yet. So, anyways, yeah, Corey, uh, it's been good, good talking to you tonight. So, night night.
W-H-W-K-Y.
W H W K Y.
W eight W K Y repeater P L one fourteen point eight.
W eight W K Y repeater P L one fourteen point eight.
W H W K Y L one fourteen point eight.
W eight W K Y repeater P L one fourteen point eight.